back in the iodine chapter, but it's just repeated in the selenium chapter. Did you so, say 853? Yeah, so going back to 853, um, all I want you to know about this is, so at the very top, you see, so if you go back down, okay, so let me show you that. Okay, so this is page 853. We're still in the iodine activation. This exact paragraph is covered in about seven pages in chapter 39. I only need you to know what's in chapter 38. So genes encoding all three enzymes, as in the deiodinase enzymes, have now been cloned in multiple species, and this has allowed many insights into the functioning and regulation of this enzyme. Okay. Of particular interest is the discovery that all three enzymes contain the unusual amino acid selenocysteine at their active site. So this is the answer to the rest of question three. Question three asks you, what's the enzyme that creates active thyroid hormone? And what is the metalloid that's incorporated into this enzyme? The enzyme is a deiodinase, right? So you're go, you can go preactive to active. The metalloid is selenium. And there we stop. Selenocysteine, as opposed to regular cysteine, is required for deiodinases. And that's the answer to question three. All right, so it's there, tRNA and mRNA involvement. This is kind of interesting in that the thing that tells your mRNA to go get selenocysteine instead of cysteine and to incorporate that in there um, is usually a stop codon. I'm not going to require you to know that, but that's unusual. So, the nutritional essential essentiality. Okay, so let's summarize all of this. How do we get it in? We need a hundred via salts, or it goes in through your selenized proteins. They're great in redox, they can hang out in selenium as seleno selenized methionine, or they can hang out as selenocysteine. And just to repeat, I'm not actually going to spell that out for you, but there it is. That's exactly where you get that answer. Um, okay, so this nutritional essentiality. There are two selenium-dependent diseases. One is juvenile cardiomyopathy, and the other one is osteoarthropathy. And then there's Keshen disease and the lymphoviruses. And when we go to review, I'm going to go through specifically what I want you to know for the clinical correlation on that. So selenium, if you're dealing with <coughs> thyroid, and you can't deiodinate those preactive hormones going to active, you're going to see some issues, right? If you don't have enough selenocysteine, you can't run the enzyme that runs active thyroid hormone, and you can also can't deactivate. So it's related. It's not the only thing that it does. It's also related to your cytochrome P450 system. But putting it back to thyroid, no functioning enzyme, problems with thyroid Okay, so toxicity. Uh, how does this work? Right, what's going on? They usually you see multiple organ failure, and it can be fatal. And um, selenium and anticarcinogenesis. So basically, they're not totally sure everything that selenium does. Even this stuff about selenoproteins has been come up in the last 20 years. So they did a few studies, especially looking at uh, basal cell carcinoma and other types of skin cancer because they thought, okay, initially, people who responded better to treatment and survived had greater selenium levels than people that didn't. What they found over a smaller study and then a larger population-based study was that up to a threshold. If you're low in selenium, then you can decrease your risk by bringing up your selenium levels. After a certain point, the risk stops. I mean, you, do, you don't get any greater reduction in risk past the threshold level of being normal, high normal in selenium levels. So you can't just give people an infinite amount of selenium and lower their cancer risk to almost zero. At some point that stops and then you run a higher risk of toxicity. And toxicity, like we said, can be fatal, so you don't want that. Okay, um, that's it really it for selenium. Selenoproteins. 
the, let's look at this, there's a little box. We're going to do a couple clinical correlations of nutrition insights. Um, 